welcome to Azalea Manor. Come on in and make yourself at home. The original name of the home uh, is called the Crawford White House Ross. I'm sorry, Crawford White House Ross House. And the back part of the house was built in 1833 this front part in 1853 and then the third owner came along and kind of refaced the outside. But I chose the name Azalea Manor because I like flowers and uh, I thought it would be an attractive name for bed and breakfast. Uh, make yourself at home as you come in and feel free to use the living room here. We've got all kinds of books, uh, historic books, modern books, uh, religious books, self-help, just a little bit of everything. And, uh, I, this is where we serve breakfast, the dining room, and there's a little refrigerator here with water, juice, pop, and uh, fresh fruit that you can help yourself with. Here's some wine glasses. If you uh, choose to go out to one of our vineyards and pick up some wine, and usually we have some candy and cookies here, so this is for you to use. Breakfast is served at 9, if that's convenient. And um, we have a really nice patio where in nice weather we'll be serving breakfast. Right now we're in the middle of making a cement slab. But this is the English garden room. It's the only room that we have downstairs right off of the back patio that would be good for handicap accessible situations. You only have like two steps. The shower and the bathroom are right in there, and there's a wardrobe. This is the front of the house where we have two guest rooms upstairs. First, the Victorian room and the classic antiquity room. This is the classic antiquity room. And this room has a queen size bed. All of the rooms have at least a queen size bed. This has a hot tub. It's not a jacuzzi because of the vibrations and the noise, but it's uh, very comfortable. Also, come on in and check out the Victorian room. This one's very popular with the ladies, which you can probably see. Let me flip the light on. It's just a little bit dark. This has a king-size bed and a twin bed, so three ladies could comfortably uh, stay here and this is the bath area and this is the Federalist room As you might have noticed uh, the fireplaces that's how I chose the names of the room depending on the fireplace cover see the eagle it's a very Federalist looking design and then I've got old George up here it's a crocheted piece that I got several years ago at an antique mall. This is the uh, bathroom. It has a nice shower, rocking chair, uh, shutters, blinds to pull down if you like a nice dark room. This is the upper veranda and you're welcome to come and enjoy yourself. Bird watch. Uh, look at the buildings surrounding the historic district. They have rocking chairs, a swing, and there's a double glider right around the floor. 